Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. And we've got a random one today. So as well as having three uh, sets of the draft boosters from Kamigawa and Dynasty and a funky little letter, we've managed to pick up one of these limited edition coins, 9,995 worldwide, and they've all got a number on. So let's hope, let's hope the very, very slim chance we've got a really rare or cool number. That would be wicked. First, let's open this. So I did get this from game. These I've had lying around because someone online was selling them for really cheap. I don't know why you'd be selling them this early, but when I bought the coin, I uh, they gave me these. I don't know whether they just had them left lying in stock, but they're cool little, cool little art cards. I thought I'd just open here, just um, just in case people haven't seen them before. Yeah, nice little, can we go out, Neon Dynasty Neon postcards. Don't really know who I'd send these to, but they're pretty pretty damn cool. Got the Wanderer there. Yeah, let's put that aside. We'll we'll crack one of these and then we'll uh, we'll open that really cool really cool coin. Hope it's rare. I just thought as well, I've not done I've not done a box opening on here for some time. And this is why I usually skip the box opening bit, because I've absolutely butchered the hell out of that. We have had all of the Kamigawa cards go down in price. But there are still a few good hitters out there. There is the, the legendary lands, like Besiju, which would be really, really cool. Like I said a minute ago as well, there is the Wanderer. There's, there's a fair few, like most sets. There's always a few that stay up there in value. And let's flick onto the uncommons now, see what the rare we get is. We've got the alternate art, Heiko Yamazaki. There is obviously that, if in a, I think it's only the set or collector boosters, there's that one rare or mythy that I'll put on the screen now that I think is worth about 400 quid. We won't get it in here. We've got March of Swirling Mist. That's pretty cool. Phase out some creatures and costs quite cheap as well. And we've got a double rare pack that's been a foil mythic. Blade of the Oni. It, like always, if they are actually worth anything, I will put the value on there because we love to see that, don't we? Got dismal backwater to gain life. And we've got one of the DFC things that become a staple in these products now. And what is also a staple is me calmly telling you that if you've not already, smash the like button down below to show your support and subscribe to the channel because we love to see it. We've hit 2000 subscribers now, which is so cool. Really, really cool. Something I didn't think I'd do when I first started doing this, but I get excited by, by all the numbers, by every number. First for knowledge, Kappa Tech Wrecker, and the rare here is a Spring Leaf Avenger. Insect Ninja with that ninjutsu. And when it deals combat damage, return a permanent card from your grave out of your hand. That is tasty, tasty stuff there. Wind Sky Crag and a piece of trash card. Let's put these cards off to the side as well. The, the rares and mythics that we get. And what I would like as well, there's no big value in it, but I'd really like some of the, some of the art, the Japanese art styles. They were absolutely class. And yeah, I just want more. I'd like to have a commander deck that fills them out perfectly. Okay, and getting onto the rare for this one. Thousand Face Shadow, another blue rare, another ninja, ninjutsu. Love to see that. ETBs and uh, create a token of another target attacking creature. Oh, there we go. There we go. I've predicted it and it has come true. But now let's let's go to this. Uh, do I, oh, I don't have to go and fetch some scissors. That is good. Let's open this and see see what uh, see what number we get. I'll cover it. I'll keep it covered. Okay, here we go. We've got the really cool magic symbol there. What number have we got? Eight hundred and fifty-four. I'd say that's pretty cool. That's within the first thousand out of uh, nearly ten thousand. As a, uh, you know, if that's got meaning to anyone, that number, let me know. That's a, uh, that's cool. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get some more. I do really like that. I did see on Reddit someone posting that they got uh, the number sixty-nine, which, uh, which was nice. That's cool. Let's butcher this even more. Oh, there we go. You know what, might as well get all my embarrassment out the, oh, could I just open it at the bottom? Yes, yeah, probably. Get all my embarrassment out of the way and just open these now. And yep, out of the bottom was so much easier. <laughs> Freezing. Okay, I'll move this cool little card up there. And let's, uh, let's have this nice, calm sort of 
very just random pack opening. Let's just uh, let's just finish off with these six packs. Get something really really valuable. A CG reaches Skyward, and to just celebrate. Uh, twin shot sniper. Oh, okay. So that alternate art reality chip equipment jellyfish. As long as it's attached to a creature, you may play lands and cast spells off top of your library with reconfigure. That is really cool. We've got a jungle hollow and a construct token. I don't really these days open as much as I used to certainly when I first started the channel but if I do it tends to be more set boosters or occasionally a collector so I don't do drafts that often because once you start opening set boosters they're just a game changer and I do miss already opening these knowing there's not going to be any like cards from the list or anything like that uh, we've got another march this one being the red version march of reckless joy is our topic cards of your library play the exiled cards and it's another double rare pack with a foil, and that is um, the Dragon Kami Reborn that does transform into Dragon Kami's egg. There we go. That is some spicy stuff. Not sure why I threw the cards up there. Let's put them there. And we've got four left. So yeah, this will definitely be the last uh, last Kamigawa thing I open. We've obviously got a few more weeks until uh, Streets of New Capina. However you, however you say it, there's only a few weeks left until that's out. So, very much looking forward to that. Yet again, another blue rare, Tamashi Reality Architect. Moonfolk Wizard. And Tamiyo's Completion to enchant artifact creature or planeswalker, making it lose loads of abilities. Do let me know in the comments below what you thought of this set as a whole. I am a fan. I think it's been one of the cooler sets of the last sort of last dozen or so really like really like the art in that i've said that in multiple videos i think the cards have been quite cool they've brought back stuff like you know shrines i'm i'm just a big big fan overall but i would like to know what you think oh and this is a card i'm glad to get we did do a uh, light pause deck tech a while ago and yeah this is a card that i've that i have really been considering making a deck out of so maybe it's time to do that although i am making a deck at the minute and it is not like pause another mountain in that japanese art style that is cool 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 yeah it might seem like another cheap plug but after i did the bant list the other week i then went through all of my magic stuff my stock everything that i've got on card market and i'd made a little arcades deck for myself on moxfield and I realised that I had about 75 of the cards to make it. So then I just, yeah, very, very cheaply filled out the other cards that I were missing. And now I'm just about to make an Arcades deck, which is wicked. Um, Mukatai Soul Ripper, a vehicle, and again in that alternate art slot. So we've got a few of these, which is really, really stuff that you love to see. Uh, planes and the Spirit. That's the Spirit. I am so very cringy sometimes, but no regrets. On to the last pack, and and I can officially reveal this is going to be the pack of the the mini box, of the mini the mini video, if you will. This is going to be the best one going. We start with an alternate art, and we all know long-time viewers, regular viewers, know that I have a very very strong history of guessing the pack of the box. Although we've had a foil. Foil Mythic, so probably not going to be this one. Mind Link Mech, it's it's sure not going to be this one as it stands at the minute. Flying Vehicle that you can crew. And, okay, a Foil Thousand Faced Shadow. Never know, this could be the pack of the box. We don't know. Is this going to be a Japanese alternate land? It is, it is. There we go. Well, it could be, it could be the pack of the box. It could be the joint pack of the box. So, yeah. To wrap up very quickly, we got number 854. That is that is special. That's the best number, best number going. And we've got quite a lot of rares. One mythic, I think. But yeah, that's three, four. Yeah, with loads, loads of rares. For for nine packs, I am happy with that. Alternate art reality chip, thousand face shadow in foil and non-foil, mythic foil blade of the Oni. Yeah, that is a. Uh, I'd say that was pretty, pretty good. There we have it, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for all things MTG. 
Check out our link tree in the description below for all of our social media and affiliate links. For now though, I'm all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.